Hey gang, Scott here. Today's video is about the difference between AI Match and AI Auto. Uh, these are buttons in On One Photo Raw's develop module that will quickly process your photo and get you to a good solid baseline. And I realized that I had assumed a lot of folks understood the difference between these two things, and uh, that turned out not to be true. So I thought putting together a video would be a good idea. And I wanna start with, you know, what's the really the fundamental difference? And it has to do with embedded photos in your raw images. Every time you capture a raw photo with your camera, there is a small JPEG version of that it's embedded in the raw photo. That's what you see on the back of your camera. And what AI Match does is it looks at that embedded JPEG and tries to process the raw to match the embedded JPEG. AI Auto does a more classic, let me look at all the tones in your raw photo and figure out what the best options are. Now, where this becomes interesting is, uh, is well, two things I wanna point out, and I'm gonna start in browse of all places. And the reason is, we're looking at this photo here. This is a raw photo, and it's in black and white. Why is that? Because when I captured it with my camera, I used one of the creative styles, a black and white mode. So the JPEG that's embedded in the raw photo, what was shown to me on the back of my camera when I captured it, is this black and white rendering. And I see this because I'm using the fast raw previews. Down in the bottom right of browse, I have this selected to fast, so it's showing me just that embedded JPEG. Now when I open this up into develop, let's go into develop here. After a moment when it loads in, we see it in color. Well, what just happened? Well, the, the full preview just got created, and now I'm looking at the raw photo. And over in Tone and Color, I have AI Match and AI Auto. If I click AI Match, that embedded JPEG was examined. Photo Raw realized, oh, this is a black and white rendering. Let me see what I can do here, and it gave me a starting point. Now, if I click AI Auto, that's looking at the raw itself, which is in color, and it does these basic adjustments. Both of these buttons, AI Match and AI Auto, adjust things in tone and color, and both of them have an amount slider, right? How much of this auto tuning do you want? Same thing for AI Match. How much of that do you want? And this one actually gets kind of interesting when you're working with a black and white photo. You kind of get this semi-colored version. Notice the saturation slider down in the color area. You know, that's what AI Match did to give me an initial black and white rendering. Just took all the color right out of it. So that is the difference between AI Match and AI Auto. Now, um, I wanna point out one other thing. You may open up a photo and not see the AI Match button. Why is that? Well, you're probably looking at a photo that does not have an embedded JPEG in it. AI Match is all about looking at the embedded JPEG in a RAW file and trying to match the treatment of that embedded JPEG. If there's no JPEG, then you're not going to get the AI Match button. Let's have a look at what I mean. So here I have a TIFF file loaded up into develop and notice there is only an AI Auto button. There's no AI Match. Why is that? There is no embedded JPEG to go find in this TIFF file to present that option. I don't have the option to match anything. There's nothing there to match. I do have AI Auto. I can click on that and I can get that automatic treatment that I want. There's one other little thing I wanna point out. Let me go back into Browse and over into an album that has been shared through On1360. Take this first photo here. A raw file, it's telling me the original is available. Let me bring that into develop. And when it's loaded in, I still only see manual and AI auto. Why is that? This has to do with how On1360 is making raw photos available through that shared cloud service that it is. If you don't know what On1360 is, Got a totally different video on that, a full video course. You can go check out what it is, but there's a free one on YouTube which explains the service. But part of what it does is it's sharing and publishing a slimmed down version of the raw photo. So it does not include that embedded JPEG, which is why 
the button is not there. So even though when I see this as a raw file here and when we're back in browse, we see that OG original is available badge, I still will not see the AI match button if this is a raw photo that's been shared from some other device through on one 360 and I'm accessing it from in this case my desktop it probably was shared from my laptop so uh, that's the fundamentals and the little like tidbits of information about AI match versus AI auto summed up AI match will look at the embedded JPEG in your raw file and adjust the tone and color sliders to best match that embedded JPEG. Very useful if you are shooting raw in the field but using one of the creative modes in your camera. AI Auto will do an like old school automatic adjustment of tone color exposure based on the raw photo itself. And you will only see the AI match button if you're working with a photo that has the embedded JPEG. That's the summary. Hope that helps you out, explains the differences. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.